Hey you guys, this is Evangelist Anita Fuentes coming to you today with Open Your Eyes People breaking news. God bless you all my friends. Praise be to God. It's June 24th, 2013, Monday. I hope you guys had an awesome weekend. Listen, I got a very hot broadcast today concerning singularity. Check this out. We be and fantastically fast are coming our way. I do see the future as an explosion of human knowledge. An explosion of things like music and art and science and engineering. The law of accelerating returns says that information technology grows exponentially. The singularity is the point where our technology and ourselves are no longer two different things. Everything, communications, the health, the energy, is going to transform itself. The change is not a constant. It's actually getting faster and faster. I'm going to make you real one day. Oh, you're looking better and better. This artificial intelligence you're creating is not coming from Mars to invade us. We are the human machine in civilization. It is really part of who we are. Tell me a bit about growing up. Well, I started out as a stick figure. I'm afraid the protocol in this situation is immediate shutdown of you. Listen, I am a conscious machine. Terminating me would be murder. Clearly, she's just a machine. Your Honor, this is flesh is impure and simple. Human beings have a spirit. They can develop a conscience. If your spirocyte is an artificial red blood cell, you would probably be able to breathe without breathing for about four hours. The ability to reprogram the information processes underlying biology will enable us within 10 or 15 years to overcome cancer, heart disease, stop and reverse aging. Nanorobots can be used to record all the traffic to get a complete picture of the state of your brain. So we could back up our brains. In principle, that's possible, yes. And that could also provide virtual reality from within the nervous system. Places that don't exist in physical space, but that people can inhabit and meet and do things that humans do. The wonderful thing is, the reality's just gotten a lot bigger. The concept of one mind, one body will be obsolete in less than 50 years. <laughs> you can actually change your body to go with a particular environment. And it'll really feel like we're in that environment. I can't believe it. Correlated nanobot replications all over the place and perfectly spaced. A large number of nanobots replicate themselves, and when there's enough of them, they suddenly turn to an attack phase. Technology's always been a dumb. Do people think that because it's been in a movie, it can't happen? I thought about three minutes would be all that would probably be enough for you and many of us to handle. But it's reality. This is what's going on concerning the times that we're living in. Listen, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who tuned into our broadcast today because we got some breaking news headlines, right? Matching Bible prophecy. I got a headline that coincides that coincides with that current clip you all just watched. Check this out. We'll be uploading our entire minds to computers by 2045, and our bodies will be replaced by machines within 90 years, Google expert claims. Ray Kurzweil, director of engineering at Google, believes he will be able to upload our entire brains to computers within the next 32 years, an event known as singularity. Our fragile human body parts will be replaced by machines by the turn of the century, and if these predictions come true, it could make humans immortal. Wow! Listen, this is the days of Noah that we're talking about here. In just over 30 years, Humans will be able to upload their entire minds to computers and become digitally immortal. An event called Singularity, according to a futurist from Google. Ray Kurzweil, director of engineering at Google, also claims that the biological parts of our body will be replaced with mechanical parts, and this could happen as early as 2100. Kerwell made the claims during his conference speech at the Global Futures 2045 International Congress in New York at the weekend. Kurzweil said, based on conservative estimates of the amount of computation you need to functionally simulate a human brain, we'll be able to expand the scope of our intelligence a billion fold. 
The singularity is also referred to as digital immortality because brains and a person's intelligence will be digitally stored forever even after they die. Listen, this is a sign of the times. Jesus said, as in the days of Noah were so with the coming of the Son of Man be. Now many state, how does this fit into the days of Noah? Neither this, this is a singularity. This is a, a, a transhumanism type of perversion of humanity and rightly so it is however the reason why it fits into the days of Noah, why it is the days of Noah, is because once man allows machine to merge with him in 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 in, 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 in its flesh in its body in its cells in its dna structure it, the machine takes on the person's will in a way, its emotions, its spirit, man. This, this is crazy stuff, you guys. This is dangerous, which means that that person who allows this and becomes singularity, becomes one with the machine, basically, will be God in a way. It will literally make them immortal. There were giants in the earth in those days and also after that. When the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Oh, the gods now. And that's where Jesus will come. My goodness. You know, this is already happening, my friends. This is why we're living in, this is the, this is the last days that we're living in. Look, listen. This article just came out this weekend. So you better believe that just because it was publicized doesn't mean it hasn't been tried. As a matter of fact, I believe. I believe it. That they already have people who have already done this within themselves, probably in the 60s. And they're already walking among us virtually immortal I'm not kidding this is this is what again we're living in the final hour we gotta recognize what time it is right is that 1159 on the time clock of God many of you want to know what that's all about it's God's timetable on his prophetic time watch letting us know what time what hour how late in the hour we are in it's also our current billboard campaign that we're putting up nationally to let people especially here in the United States know what time it is many are asleep here in the US you know please visit our website for more information on that www.emof.org where, where it's a very aggressive campaign and uh, if, if please see what you can do to help again www.emof.org let's continue however with this amazing sign of the times headline check this out expanding on this idea Martine Rothblatt CEO of biotech company United Therapeutics introduced the idea of mind clones these are digital versions of humans that can live forever it can create mind files that are a place to store aspects of our personality let me ask you a question. With all the singularity transhumanism tying into Bible prophecy, it's clearly Bible prophecy. My question is this. Does Revelation 9 speak on transhumanism? Does Revelation 9 refer to singularity? Check this out. The fifth angel sounded his trumpet, and I saw a star that had fallen from the sky to the earth. The star was given the key to the shaft of the abyss. When he opened the abyss, smoke rose from it like the smoke from a gigantic furnace. The sun and sky were darkened by the smoke from the abyss. And out of the smoke, locusts came down on the earth and were given power like that of scorpions of the earth. They were told not to harm the grass of the earth or any plant or tree, but only those people who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. They were not allowed to kill them, but only to torture them for five months. And the agony they suffered was like that of the sting of a scorpion when it strikes. During those days, people will seek death, but will not find it. They will long to die, but death will elude them. The locusts looked like horses prepared for battle. 
On their heads they wore something like crowns of gold, and their faces resembled human faces. Their hair was like women's hair, and their teeth were like lion's teeth. They had breastplates, like breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was like the thundering of many horses and chariots rushing into battle. We are going to become gods. Period. If you don't like it, get off. You don't have to contribute. You don't have to participate. But if you're going to interfere with me becoming God, then we'll have big trouble. Then we'll have warfare. And you kill me, I'll kill you. It doesn't sound too far-fetched with this singularity, transhumanism, blasphemy, Let's continue. She said it would run on a kind of software for consciousness until the Huffington Post, the first company that develops mindware, will have as much success as a thousand Googles. Ron Blath added that the presence of mindware could lead to replacing other parts of the body with non-biological parts. It's, it's one of the tricks, it's one of the deceptions of Satan in these last days. There are many deceptions that he has that he is just throwing out there and people are taking it. Satan doesn't have to try very hard in these last days, my friend. People are desperate for healing of diabetes, of, of anxiety, of, of schizophrenia, of Alzheimer's, of, of growing old. They don't want to grow old. Everybody wants to lose weight. Nobody wants to do it the whole fashion way. Everybody wants to uh, 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 live forever, not realizing that we are spirit beings that were made in the image of God and that we will live forever. The question is, where, where in heaven or in hell, and then after hell, the lake of fire, where are you going to spend eternity, my friend? Because this is, this is some real stuff. This is happening. It's been happening. It's coming out on the forefront for the conditioning of the minds in these last days. It's all part of the Luciferian agenda, what's called the New World Order in the book of Daniel and in the book of Revelation. Daniel chapter 7 and 8, the book of Revelation chapter 13 and 17. Please take the time to not only read, but ask the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you concerning those scriptures. Because a lot of things are coming out on the forefront. There is a, uh, an end time wave flood of deception that is coming on the scene quickly that is going to drown many in perdition and it doesn't have to be you if you haven't given your life to Christ you need to because now the now is the time the days are evil time is up my friend time is up time is up this is hard hitting but it's needed because mainstream media ain't talking about it many of the pastors in today's churches aren't talking about it but praise be to God for open your eyes, people, and for those who are led by the Spirit of the living God and know what time it is. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. This is crazy stuff. They're trying to, they're playing, scientists like this Kerwell, mad scientists are, are playing God. They're playing God. They're dismissing God. They want to become their own gods. We're not our own creator. We didn't just come out of nothing. No. We came, we were ordained, you were specifically purposed by the Father, God Almighty. And unless you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you're, 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 you're going to perish. And there's no reason for you to perish because there's a way for you to be saved and it's through Jesus Christ. You need to, you need to receive Him right now though. You need to receive Him right now. If you say, if, if you say later, not right now, there's no guarantee after right now free your salvation my friend there's not now is the time you're not watching this by accident Anita you shouldn't do that you don't want to do that and tell people they're gonna to go to hell they're gonna be turned off no 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 they're gonna get saved my friend and Jesus loves you too much for nobody not to tell you the truth he loves you too much he loves you too much this is real stuff the clip that I showed earlier in this broadcast the very first one you probably recognize the face Anthony Robbins was in that clip but he said he was a Christian. So does Oprah. So does a lot of people who are perishing right now and leading many to perish with them. My Abba, don't let it be you. Email me if you wanna, if you don't know how to pray and, and but you're ready, you wanna do this. You don't know what it all means, but it's okay. I, I, was, I was like that once. 
and God is with you and he will help you. I'd be honored to lead you into a prayer full surrender. Email me, Anita at emoff.org. Anita at emoff.org. This is not science fiction. This is not motivational speaking. This is the difference of life or death. Blessing or cursing. Choose life so that you and your descendants may live. I love you all so very much. Have a wonderful, blessed Monday in the name of Jesus. I look forward to coming to you again. Until then, God bless you. Bye-bye. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.